Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. So I was trying to get on camera while I had a little bit more hang time, but the way my hair shrinks up so quickly, it, it just doesn't work. So you guys gonna get this, okay? <laughs> Straight shrinkage, hey. So in today's video, I wanted to brush up a little bit on my natural hair and what I will be doing moving forward in 2023 and hopefully keeping this type of routine like the rest of my natural hair lifestyle. I have definitely come to a piece to a understanding of my hair and what it does, what it likes. This is a rare look as of recently, uh, me having my hair out because nowadays my hair don't be out, to be honest, because it is a lot to maintain. One and two, I am definitely on a journey, on a goal to retaining as much length as possible. And if you guys are new to my channel, I have been doing YouTube for my natural hair and everything lifestyle since 2013. So that's a lot of years of manipulating my hair, of trying new products, of um, just not really taking care of my hair because I was looking for that aesthetic, going for that look in order to create content, whether it's for a company or just for myself to create for you guys. So that is a lot of time of manipulating and I know for sure my hair grows and I know for sure my hair grows very, very fast because I've cut my hair many, many times. If you guys have not been rolling with me since then, um, I've cut my hair about two times, a big chop, 20 to 12 shaved sides uh cut it again this time i permed it try to get a pixie type of finger wave look so i've definitely done a lot with my hair besides locking it i've not locked it and i thought about it but i don't know I don't, no no i'll let my mini twist look like locks that's what I do. I've taken advantage of my hair, to be honest, because I know it grows and I know um, I'm not bald headed. Over the years, I've seen a lot of breakage simply because I've just been touching it way too much and not really giving it the rest it needs. So I realized as of recently, I have love, love, love giving my hair a break and um, letting it flourish on its own and I've find different hairstyles and different ways to manage it to where it's not overwhelming for me. So these points that I'm going to be mentioning in this video, I have already started this since I want to say it's the summer, a year to six months to a year I've been doing this and I just wanted to bring this forth to you guys just in case anybody has the same type of hair texture that I do it's just looking for ways to um, retain length this is what I'm doing or this is what I have been doing and I've seen it has been working so I'm just here to share with you guys so what I have been doing and from here now forward I have been washing my hair only once a month so every four weeks or every six weeks it just depends so I can't from washing my hair weekly to bi-weekly and now once a month or every four to six weeks i say four weeks if my hair is not in extensions if it's just my natural hair whether it's twists or mini um, braids and six weeks if i have knotless braids in so i have 4c hair just in general but my nape area and my edges are 4b they're way looser than anywhere else on my head <laughs> my nape hair in the back is way longer than the other parts of my hair. I'm bra strapless, y'all, I'm bra strapless. Um, but I just did a, a mini trim, and if you guys wanna see that, then you guys can see that on Pinterest. I did do a video on that. Don't let the shrinkers fool you. I realized me washing my hair weekly, it just kept my hair very dry, one, two. It was just too much. Like, as soon as I wash my hair, I have to wash it again the next week it was just too much especially when you are detangling when you have steps in your wash day routine so i feel like once a week even bi-weekly was just too much heavy manipulation is going to be a no or very very min minimal manipulation is going to be going on from here on out I keep my hair in protective hairstyle for the entire four weeks or six weeks 
and I don't touch my hair like at all. The only time I touch my hair is every Sunday, which is the day I do my content. I do spray and I refresh. I will go into details about these later on in the list, but I do touch it on Sundays, but it's not manipulating my hair strands at all. I just make sure it's refreshed so I can make content or do my job. <laughs> so the next thing I won't be doing as much anymore is using a styling tool every step of my routine. So when I wash my hair, when I detangle, when I'm um, conditioning, when I'm styling, for every step of the way, I normally have a wide tooth comb that I am combing my hair in every step. And I just want to minimize as much breakage or as much stress on my hair. So I'm going to try to try keyword try to bring it down to using the comb only one time throughout the steps this is dirty hair so i have to wash it tonight so hopefully tonight i'll start doing that but we'll see pray for me guys because i don't know because my y'all know my hair loves to tangle so not combing it through Ooh. Jesus, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So I've been doing this throughout my entire journey. So this is just a reminder for me to continue to analyze my hair and see what it likes and what it doesn't like because the longer your hair gets, the thicker it gets, the more strands your hair have, the older the ends are. It changes a lot. Like what you could do when you were TWA, you probably can't do anymore when you are bra strap length. So I definitely analyze and see what my hair likes throughout the entire phases of my hair, maybe during the summer, maybe during the winter, it acts differently as well. It's always important to know and to adjust when your hair is changing. Okay, so what I've been doing for the past six months, I've been spraying my hair with leave-in conditioner and oil my scalps and my hair twice a week. So normally on Sundays, right before I get all done up to do content and on wednesdays because that's just the middle of the week and by wednesday i don't work out monday tuesday and wednesday morning so when my hair is wet from sweat dry wet dry my scalp gets very very dry and itchy so by wednesday i know like i need to hydrate my hair and then i wait until sunday again to repeat the entire process so that is what my routine is on a weekly basis and that's basically the only thing i do with my hair on a weekly another problem i had where i had to really like relax was touching my hair i have what touch hair hand and hair syndrome whatever it's called i have that for sure and being that i know that i have to wrap my hair up when i'm at the house i used to didn't do that a couple years back i just didn't see the reason to but now it doesn't matter as soon as i'm done with my shower i wrap my hair up and it's like that until i shower again at night before i go to bed and wrap it back up because if i don't my hair my hands are going to be in my hair doing this and feeling uh, fair knots because i have really really bad single strand knots i have really bad uh, split ends so i'm trying to train myself to not touch my hair but because it's so hard not to touch my hair i have to definitely just take it out of <laughs> out of my face or out of my way um, out of my view every single day it has to be wrapped up so next, I already mentioned this earlier a couple of times, but I realized the hairstyle that I'm going to be doing moving on forward is going to be mini twists or chunky medium twists. Mini or, okay, just twists. Twists, mini braids, and knotless braids. Those are the styles that I love as a protective hairstyle. Here and there, I'll probably do locks just to change it up like full locks just to change it up just a little bit but honestly that's like if i'm going on vacation or going on a long trip somewhere then i'll do it other than that i'm not just gonna be putting in locks just to put in locks i'm very comfortable with my mini braids and my mini twists i love them so much so those are going to be my protective hairstyle for a long 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 time so the past couple of washes i've been implementing a a strategic routine when it comes to protein treatment i realized in the past i was neglecting protein treatment like 
really, really bad. The thing is, when I was washing every week, I would have a conditioner that already has protein in it. So I didn't really have to set that aside. It was just like a protein slash moisturizing type of deep conditioning. But now I'm doing heavy on protein treatment. So I am using the Alpha G two-step carotene protein treatment but i don't use the second step i just use one i just use the protein itself and then i use my own moisturizer in order for me to put moisture back into my hair so now my routine is to protein treat every three months i skip two months because the afrogy is a very very strong protein treatment and i do not think my hair needs that every month in order for it to be strong so the two months in between i deep moisturize or deep condition well i do condition every month but um i do not put protein in my hair in the two months between my protein treatment and that just helped balance out my hair to where there's not protein overload going on and moisture overload because right before my first silk press my hair was very very mushy i just didn't know it didn't have enough protein in it and after i did the silk press my hair was definitely just shedding because it was just too it was just too soft it was not strong enough in order to hold up so from now and forward i protein treat every three months the next thing that I have been implementing in my natural hair routine lifestyle is to keep my product stash small and exclusive. And that could be very, very difficult as a content creator because you have brands sending you things to try out or collaborations you have to do often. So I have definitely been a very exclusive when it comes to the type of brands that I'm working with, the type of products that I'm using because a lot of products I've used, I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is not really doing much. I just am manipulating my hair for absolutely no, I mean, it's, it's a job for my job, but it's not really beneficial to my hair. And at the end of the day, I want to actually have hair in order for me to do my work, right? I can't be having damaged, nasty looking hair and doing these collaborations. You're like, girl, we don't want your kind of hair. <laughs> we want her kind of hair because yours look very unhealthy. So like anything in my life, and if you guys have not seen any of my other videos, I have definitely been into keeping a lot of things exclusive that is coming into my life so every product is not gonna be in my stash anymore my stash is very very exclusive now and honestly i'm trying to finish up what i do have before i go and repurchase anything else so i know exactly which products my hair absolutely love those are the ones that i just re-up they're on amazon and i just re-up all the time i keep my stash very very small very exclusive because i do not like being a product junkie been there done that it's not very beneficial it just creates a lot of clutter a lot of products gets expired and it eventually goes to the trash so i might as well not put it in my stash in the first place so i just like to stick to what i know my hair loves and not go out and just buy every new thing that comes out. So the next thing is gonna be very, very hard for me to do, especially because this is my job, but I have done a really good job in the past couple of months. But when it comes to creating new styles, I'm definitely gonna minimize the new hairstyles that come out like there's so many hairstyles i see that are on social i'm not willing to try it whatsoever because i just know it's going to be damaging with my hair or for my hair and or it is not going to last long at all so it's going to require more manipulation on my part with my hair and i don't want to just be losing hair strands for no reason so for example the goddess braids goddess braids yeah on natural hair oh it's a no those strands that are just sticking out out in the air oh it's a no fairy knots split ends tangling is going to no so i know exactly what my hair will not be able to withstand also that is not going to last me my full four to six weeks so why would i spend all that time detangling and putting those mini braids in just to take them out what two weeks later and do it again that's like double manipulation in one month that is too much for me and for my hair so i will try a new hairstyle only if 
I know for sure it's gonna last me that full four to six weeks. If it's not, then it's, it's not necessary for me to try whatsoever. I don't care what the cutest of the cutest hairstyle that comes out, it is not for me. The only way I will have my hair out or try um, a hairstyle for less than 48 hours is like right now, I took my hair out and I did a Bantu knot. This is a Bantu knot out that I did two days ago and it took like two days for it to dry. So I know I'm gonna wash my hair tonight. That's the only reason I did the Bantu knot when I was taking my hair out. Other than that, if it wasn't time for me to wash my hair, I wasn't just going to play in my hair just for no reason. So I really do like braid outs or not braid outs. I don't like braid outs. Twist outs, bantu knot outs, anything like that on dirty hair because right afterwards it's going to be washed and be put away for the next four to six weeks. And the last thing I'm going to be doing for my natural hair lifestyle slash journey is to take my vitamins on a schedule that works for me. There are so many supplements on the market and supplements can be and are really good for you if you are lacking those um, necessary vitamins within your dietary regimen. If you're already not eating a lot of food that has zinc in it, so it's best to have supplements to fill in that gap for you to have your zinc intake. The thing is, we tend to accumulate a whole bunch of supplements and just have them in our cupboards. And when the next one comes, we hurry up and go buy that one. The next one comes, hurry up and go buy that one. I really don't have a schedule or routine to know exactly how we, you know, pair up the the supplements or when to actually take them so I realized every Sunday is the day I'm going to dedicate for me to replenish with my supplements and the thing is I don't need to take my supplements every day because I really do have a well-balanced food intake I eat a lot of different fruits and vegetables and seafood and meats and I don't restrict myself to any specific categories in my food so I have a big mix of a lot of different things in me so I just literally take my supplements in order to just boost a little bit whatever I am lacking for that week if I did not have oysters then I'm missing some zinc you know if I did not have my enough chicken then i'm missing some protein so really that is just a, a extra or just a case type of supplements that i take so moving forward i know exactly which day is going to be beneficial for me to take and i just need to implement them in my schedule so let me know what are you changing or incorporating in your natural hair journey for 2023 with that being said, do not forget to follow my other social media platforms at important underscore chocolate on Instagram and at Wolanda, um, all the other platforms. I'll leave the links down below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.